Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale, and welcome to another exciting edition of Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition mod tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install Matador Smash for Skyrim Special Edition, and believe it or not, it'll work the same exact way for Skyrim on Nexus Mod Manager. Okay, so this is going to be a very simple tutorial. Have you ever seen Matador Smash and you've heard about it and you actually want to learn how to make Smash patches? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly that. I'm going to show you how to download and install it on Nexus Mod Manager. My name's Tony Lele and le let's begin. Now, this let's be clear that Matador Smash was created by Matador the Eternal. It is a, basically it's the same tool that is very similar to Wire Bash. We're creating a bash patch. Well, this one we're going to be creating Smash patches. We're actually mo it's more modern. And it's more, it's set up for more, um, it's, it's a more, it's a better tool to use for creating actual bash pat for actual bash patching any, any of your mods together. So I, this is a small list of mods I've created that I'm going to be bashing together today to, um, for your, to show you how to make the patch. Now, believe it or not, you're going to first need to go to another website, which you'll find a link below, um, in my description and you can go straight there. You can download it. You're going to want to get the alpha version as you watch this video, um, Later on, this might actually end up changing different versions, but I have a feeling it'll be the same, the same installation. And if the installation ends up changing, I will then change the tutorial for you. But for now, this is this is the tutorial on how to install it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Matador Smash Zip and download it. I've already got it downloaded, so, so as you can see, it's as it's there. So let's go to my download. Make sure it's uh, canceled. I said cancel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So when you're downloading Matador Smash, this utility is very strange because the fact is on Nexus Mod Manager, it doesn't support it, so you can't actually use it in Nexus Mod Manager. If you try to use Matador Smash and install it outside of Nexus Mod Manager, you, believe it or not, the, the load order is not going to do it right. So I installed it in my other file, and I'm going to load it right here. Matador Smash will automatically look for and find the Steam folder you're using for your whatever Skyrim you're, you've got it installed for. And you basically, when you're first doing it, you're going to look for Skyrim, and you can put it for Skyrim if you'd like, up here, Oblivion, all these other games. But for this one, for Nexus Mod Manager, we're going to use Special Edition. I click on it, right? So you're going to click on it, and then you're going to, this little button will show up, and then click OK. As you can see, my load order has arrived, but if you look at my load order here, which I used with loot, right? My load order is now organized, except on Matador Smash is not recognizing it. Well, in order to get Matador Smash to recognize your load order, you're going to have to install it through Nexus Mod Manager. So you go down here, you go to Mod Open File. I'm going to go to my downloads where I have Matador Smash right here, Matador Smash, and I'm going to install Matador Smash. Actually, hold on. Make sure it's a zip file. You're going to want to install Matador Smash through Nexus Mod Manager. As you can see, it has recognized it. So I'm going to go down here to my un and it should be un it should be the unassigned section of your mo of your manager. Right here. Yep, there it is. Matador Smash, and you're going to install it through here. For some reason, when Matador Smash is installed through your data folder, it's able to read the mod list from Nexus Mod Manager. Now let's, we're going to actually going to go into your data folder. So we're going to go to Skyrim Special Edition. You're going to go to your data folder. You're going to scroll down to the ESP in Matador Smash, and you're going to upload it here. You're going to click on it, and you're going to, as you can see, your load order is here. I go ahead and you select the uh, ESP, the ESMs you want, because we're going to smash everything together. And now, as Matador the Eternal has stated, it'll now load. All right, now we have the actual tool working. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to assign all this to be smashed. But how do I do that? Well, the first thing you do is you're going to hold shift and you're going to left click and then left click at the very bottom of your mod list. Now you're going to right click and you're going to go to smash settings. Smash, smash all. Now they have all been converted to be smashed. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create a new patch. As you can see in the patch area, there is no patching. So you're going to right click again. You're going to go to add patch. You're going to go to new patch. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write smash patch. Put a space if you'd like. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Next, you're going to go to smash patch. We'll just name it smash patch. Uh, you know, lowercase, non-lowercase, it doesn't matter. This is just my style. 
Okay, as you can see under the patch it is now ready to be smashed. This is as simple as cherry pie. Go up to this to the to the to the patch, the basher, and click smash. You can show the details to see what it's doing as it's smashing every single mod together and creating your smash patch. 200 records are being 270 records are being smashed together. Okay, and now you're going to go to close. Believe it or not, your patch has been created. Here it is. If you'd like to know where your patch is, all you do is left click and go to Open Explorer. It'll show you exactly where you, where it is. It's in your data folder now. So now you have a smash patch in your data folder. Okay, click out of that. Now you're going to click out of this. It's closed. Close your data folder. Come over to your plugins. And as you can, all right, so you're going to also want to refresh your Nexus Mod Manager. So close Nexus Mod Manager and open it back up. Click OK. And as you can see, you now have a smash patch. If you want to check your smash patch, just go into test edit, go your test edit launch and launch launch test edit five. As you can see, and click OK. All right, everyone. As you can see, the smash everything is loaded and it looks just fine. It, there's no warnings. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna left click and we're gonna want to double check to make sure everything's cool within our load order. So all you're going to do is you're going to apply filter, not conflicts, because conflicts will show you what's between the mods. And because the smash patch is basically fixed or all that, you don't want to you want to see what the actual smash patch is done. So you're going to go to click filter. It may take a second to load. All right, everyone, it's done loading. As you can see, now you can find the conflicts within each and every single one. You click on your smash patch, and as you can see, you can go through here to check your records. You'll notice if one of them is in red, you'll find conflicts here. Um, you can click on and as you can see there's conflicts with some of your mods, but the smash patches actually fix those making them more stable It's not hard you can go uh, you can go through it and check as many records as you like or how many mods you want I am not gonna lie the smash patcher is probably the most stable you'll ever have on your rig And now that you know how to use it. I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully this is uh, this benefits you in the long run For Skyrim users. This is the exact same process on Nexus mod manager. It is no different for special edition Okay, so this tutorial can help you. All right, all right. So as, now that you've seen everything's correct, and we, we looked at our records to make sure that everything's been smashed properly, appropriately, and conflicts have been resolved, just click out of it, and there you have it. You have created your very first smash patch for Nexus Mod Manager. All right, everyone, that's it for today's tutorial. If you get a chance, please go and thank um. Thank, Ma thank Matator the Eternal uh, for, for his amazing creation. Um, it's honestly the most stable bat smashing uh, patching ser service I've seen, a uh, smashing tool I've seen on the Nexus, or non-Nexus, um, that works for Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition very, very, very well. Fallout 4 users, it's, it's, it'll work for them as well. Anyway, please give him a giant thank you. I hope this tutorial helps you and makes your game much, much more stable. My name's Tony Malay. If you guys like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. To my channel, if you like my other videos, I have other tutorials. You can check them out for Skyrim Special Edition. As always, my name is Tony Wale. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.